we just cannot feel sorry for ourselves. Um, we make uh, mistakes, cost us the goals, and we have to chase the game. Um, you know, as I said, uh, even uh, considering last game against uh, New England, we have enough chances to, to tonight to, uh, to tie the game and to win the game. We just make too many mistakes defensively. Um, and that's why uh, we are where we are. Well, it's got to be everybody's responsibility to get behind the ball when we lose it, uh, to react as quick as possible. Um, no matter if we lose it in, in our attacking box or if we lose it in midfield, everyone's got to react and get back uh, behind the ball as fast as possible. So, uh, so we delay their attack, and we just got to win balls and make plays. We had everything going. It's just the... The, the start, the slow start, you know, giving up two goals. You can never give up two goals. So I think that hurt us. But I think overall, you know, it wasn't, wasn't the worst performance. But like I said, it's, it's over. It's done with. The season's over. Uh, we're just looking forward to, to getting into some playoff soccer. And we're going to, you know, take care of New York in New York. Uh, the soccer gods maybe, maybe are not on our side right now. Um, you know, if you consider uh, missing the chances like Josh did or, you know, the last minute uh, chance from Benny. And you, you just shake your head, but as I said, the point is still uh, we give it, we give up the goals like uh, you know, like a U12, U12 team. So we cannot, you know, do that because in the playoffs it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna cost us the game, it's gonna cost us the series, and we all go fishing. Yeah, that's the funny thing. Once the playoffs start, it doesn't matter who did what during the regular season. It doesn't matter if you were 32 and 0 or you know, one in 31. It doesn't matter because. You start off with a clean slate. Everyone, uh, everyone's getting their locker room speeches about how if they, you know, believe in each other, they'll get through. And we're gonna get the same thing. But at the end of the day, it's about taking care of business on the field, and that's what we have to do. If we had won two games and gone into the playoffs and and not done well, then who cares about the the games going into the playoffs? Mm -hmm. So you forget about them and you move on and you get the job done in the playoffs. I expect the war. <laughs> um, that's that's always how it is between us in New York. You know, you could throw pretty much all the records away and you know how we've done all year and things like that because it's just going to come down to two teams who are going to fight you know till the end and um, they obviously have a lot of quality players uh, with Jorikaev and, and uh, Guevara and those guys uh, so they have a lot of quality players and um, so do we so it's going to be a good matchup but we know what they're all about they know what we're all about um, we believe that you know we should have an advantage and um, we just have to exploit that. The most uh, important thing is, I always believed in how you train and you play, and your game translate what you're gonna do in a, in a practice. So we have to stick together and make sure that we will understand each other and we will have one goal um, during that time, uh, during next week, which means um, advance to the MLS Cup final and win this thing.